Hi, I'm Morgan, you're watching 1700, and I'm joined here by the lovely boys from August Burns Red, uh, Jake and JB. Hello. How are you guys? Good, very good. Now, we're down here at Moorabbin. Mm -hmm. You guys are about to play a show. Very pumped. Excited for it. Pretty excited, yeah. This is actually, uh, today is the first time we've ever played two shows in one day. I saw it because you sold out the first, so now you, is that exciting to know that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool, like, to be here with like Parkway Drive taking us out to Australia for the first time so uh, there's probably no other better band to be with they're awesome dudes and they're, they've they definitely sold out I mean all the shows on this tour have just been like ridiculous so yeah it's we're I mean we're glad to be here definitely really cool so it's a it's an all ages gig of course here is that do you, do you find that's important to you to play both sort of shows like over to play the over 18 and the all ages yeah and the all ages that's actually new to us because uh, in the States, generally everything is all ages, and uh, this is, I believe, the first time we've done like a bunch of 18 and over shows. I think we did a couple in Europe and the UK perhaps, but uh, just generally it's always all ages. So it's just, it's kind of a different experience, but it's cool. I mean, the, the 18, 18 plus shows are still a lot of fun, so. That's, no complaints. No, that sounds like a better system. Australia, it's, it's, it's often hard here when you're younger to actually get into gigs oh, really? because a lot of Australia is overage. So why is that? Just because of the alcohol rules? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's good to hear that America is a bit more <laughs> getting yeah. everyone involved. That's good. They just have like separate sections for the yeah you know the people drinking and those who aren't of age. So you guys seem to be working really hard. Your shows seem to be like back to back. Is it, is it tiring touring all around? How, how do you keep your energy up for each show? Uh, the show part's the easy part because it's always, uh, when you have like an audience who's psyched to see you play, you can just kind of flip that switch and be like pumped to go on. It's the, the traveling and the, you know, the setting up and tearing down and all that that yeah. gets a bit tiresome. And it's usually cool, like it's not a big deal, but when, like this is our third tour in a row without a break. So we're like definitely starting to get heavy eyelids a little bit, you know, and we're ready to, to chill out for a bit, but I mean, it's it's not hard when you're coming over here with Parkway and you're playing for thousands of kids a night. I mean, mm. it's like no brainer. You're you're pumped to go on. Yeah. So, so do you have a highlight of your Australian experience thus far? I got to cuddle a kangaroo at the zoo, Aww. which was like <laughs> we want, we all wanted to like. I know this sounds like really touristy or whatever, but we all wanted to touch a koala bear and the zoo keeper was like no you can't do that so Aww. when we were walking through <clears throat> one of the paths there was just like a bunch of kangaroos just like hanging out so we all just just like laid with them and pet them and <laughs> that sounds really cheesy <laughs> no, but dude I was super stoked to be like hanging out with a kangaroo it's not every day that I get to see a kangaroo you know but like apparently they're like always like dead on the highways here which is kind of sad. Yeah, they are. They are a little. I, I'm. I'm from rural Victoria, and um, we have packs of them, mm. and it's yeah. They get to be like super. I mean, they're huge, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, no, they're they are, are really, huge. really big. They are huge. The ones I saw weren't that that large, but I was told there's like something like seven foot tall, and like if you run into them, like they'll just they're so heavy and so big that they'll just like crush your vehicle. Yeah, um, like they'll come into the front seat. We had one total of Valiant once. Really? Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> tough, tough things. Yeah. So you'll obviously you'll be heading home after this. It's after your mm -hmm. tour for your album. I should have mentioned that Constellations, oh. the new one that came out this year. Yeah. yeah. So what's what's <laughs> <laughs> what was yeah. what was the yeah? <laughs> um. Well, so you'll be heading back and relaxing. But is there anything after that? I know it's early. Obviously, you'll be exhausted. We actually have a lot after that. Um, Starting well as soon as we get home actually our one guitar player is getting married So that's actually the reason that we're kind of rushing home. So because he's getting married in a week and then uh, What's next? I guess our US headliner starts in mid-September and that goes until uh, Sometime in October and then immediately following that we're flying over to the UK and Europe to do a tour over there with uh, Bring me the horizon and a day to remember and then we fly home <laughs> Fly, fly home to the <laughs> States. This is, this is like I'm, the last thing I want to talk about right now. I'm like, uh, I'm really know. tired listening to this. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then we have one more tour in the States. In fact, when the, the Bring Me the Horizon tour ends, we fly directly to the first date of the next tour that we're doing in the States. We're doing a month with uh, Under Earth in the States. So, I mean, really good tours lined up. We're excited. They're yeah. going to be good shows, but it's like 
bam, 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 like three month long tours with no break at all. But that's how it goes. I mean, yeah. we just put out a new record, so we knew we'd be hitting the road hard. And I'm just happy that we're doing good tours. Yeah, obviously the fact that you're doing this well <laughs> can't really be a... Yeah, we'd, we'd definitely <laughs> rather be like tired, but on the road and like touring and having a good time than sitting at home, you know, like praying for a tour, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So like, it's, f and it makes, it makes home like that much more special because you're like, I can't, you know, like you don't see it much. So when you do like, you know, you, you definitely like, I don't know, really, really are thankful for it. So yeah, touch base and yeah. be grounded again for, for a little sure. while. Yeah. Awesome. Sure. Well, I've really enjoyed chatting to you guys and <laughs> <laughs> good luck with the show this afternoon nice. and awesome. good luck Thanks. with the insane amount of touring. Yeah. 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 I hope you have fun and everything. Thanks we so will. Much. Sweet. You're welcome. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.